Join me as I travel solo through India, a land of endless diversity and sensory experiences, where each destination offers its own unique adventure. Today we find ourselves in Mumbai. Let's discover what wonders this quarter of India holds for us. Hello guys, uh, welcome to Da -da -da, Mumbai. So this is Mumbai. This is um, Marine Drive or also known as Marine Lines I think the area down by the beach of these things. I believe these things are here to kind of stop the, um, the shore getting washed away. It's not exactly what I had in mind. I thought uh, it would be an actual beach. I do believe there's an actual beach around there. So maybe we'll go down that way there. Uh, I think that's like Mumbai Beach. But also that end, so I kind of came to the middle because I couldn't make a decision. Um, and down that end, there's I think like the sunset point. And then this end is more, uh, yeah, there's like the Mumbai Beach. So I may, I think I made a mistake because what I was originally going to do was start at one end and walk to the other. Now I started in the middle and I'm going to walk to both. I'm not sure. I think I'll walk to the beach first. Yeah, it's a nice day. Get to try out my, my new hat. Uh, also get away a little bit, well, I'm going to say from the traffic. Although we are right next to like a, a main highway, you know. But yeah, it's, it's quite nice. Oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to work because, yeah, there's, you can't, just as I say that, can't go any further, but I'll go around. Don't worry, people, I'll go around. But yeah, it looks like they're like really redeveloping all of this. Uh, maybe putting like a, a nice esplanade um, or promenade down here for people to walk up and down. Obviously it goes that way. I'm gonna go this way. Gosh, this guy's getting involved here. Don't wanna to walk too far out on the road here either. But um, yeah, not exactly what I had in mind. I thought it was gonna be all beach. I did know that it was obviously these, these stony things. I oh, know, they're not there anymore. Okay, now it's just stones. But it looks like this is all, yeah, workmen, so I probably can't walk down there. So I'll keep going, maybe as far as I can, but actually maybe I'll be stopped up here. We might be at a disappointment, but I don't know yet. I haven't given up yet, guys. Maybe you can walk that way. I don't know. It's very, very literary here. Maybe, you, maybe you just don't want to throw your rubbish on the floor. Maybe that's what you want to do or not do. But anyway, you get a nice view here of the skyline. I was actually up, I think, around there somewhere uh, a while back, checking out some of the temples and like there's the bug by Banga. Banganga, Banganga, there's up there. Oh, yeah, and actually walked all the way back down to just about there and then gave up and caught a taxi from there. So yeah, that's, that's one story. But I didn't quite make it to the beach. I kind of gave up before I made it to the beach. But I've driven past it a couple of times and it does, it looks quite nice actually. But I thought all this would also be beach. But it looks more like, yeah, they put like a, it's a seawall, you know, just to stop it getting all washed away. It's a shame we still we can't walk, walk down there. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. We've got the lovely Mumbai traffic on that side. The toots, I, I planned that toot just for you. Yeah, and then we're going this way. Oh, wow, there's those, that twin building there. Those like kind of orientate myself because I used to be that way. Now I'm that way. 
We are obviously on the, let me, this way, east, no, west. This is like the west side. West side of like the Mumbai, let's call it, uh, an isthmus, an isthmus, if that's what it is, myth. It's just this corner off here. I mean, the last thing I want to do, to be honest, is walk along the highway. <laughs> it's kind of the opposite of what I wanted to do. I wanted to walk along the beach. The beach isn't actually that far, but I think it's actually further than it looks. It is further than it looks. But yeah, it really feels like I'm kind of walking into a uh, construction site a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I mean, this is nice. Look. See how this is all painted? Like painted with like ocean, waves. Very nice. It kind of fits in quite well, obviously, with the ocean waves. You see just over here, maybe. See, it'd be really nice if I could walk up there. Now, <laughs> the only people I can see down that way are wearing high vis and hard hats. Okay. Anyway, you get a, you get a nice view of like the skyline there. Really nice at night, obviously, because you get uh, all the lights and the water. Quite romantic. And I'm sure, like when this is all finished, it'll be really nice. I think what they're building down there is a might be a, 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 a like a train, a station, some sort of station. I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just go ask this guy. There's a guy just here. He obviously just missed me walking by him. I'm not sure how receptive he's going to be. Can I go all the way? Yeah. Not on here, but down here. On this bit? Okay. I think what he said is I can keep going that way. He's pointing in that direction, but he said don't walk on that. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Kaise ho? Bas maje mein. Maje mein maje mein. Ka ka. Yeah, good. Kaun sa channel hai? You going to Mumbai Beach? Ha. Uh, Acha. Walking? Walking, walking. Mumbai Beach? Ha. Uh. Ha, uh, good. Oh, getting a bit of smoggy. Smoggy beach. You can see here there's like all these new buildings kind of coming up. Back there obviously there's all these apartments and flats and like uh houses I guess. Quite a nice view. Might be a bit noisy with the traffic, but yeah, you get the. Uh, so he's got a high vis. Oh, but these kids are just coming from there. Okay, so what I'm maybe going to do is I. Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll keep walking. Man seems to be wow. That's going to be a lot of work for him. He's rounding the corner off by hand. Well, not by hand, but by himself. He's just like grinding it down. I don't think he's got a mask on either. But he's like breathing all that in. <sighs> Welcome to the beach, everyone. I'll, I'll get back to you when I'm actually on the beach. I've made a mistake, obviously. Okay. Okay, so I've kind of come to this sign here. It does say no authorized in entry, but these guys are just continuing on. And there's like some school kids back there. They're obviously going somewhere. Very much a work side. This here, I don't know. I don't know what that does. I thought it was like going to be a train station. But I was wrong. This guy's saying. Hey, to, to get to the beach, I have to go this way, yeah? Ah. Right. 
Okay. So we are walking along the motorway. It's a little bit different than what I had in my imagination. Uh, but at least the motorway is massive. And I don't particularly feel like I'm going to get run over. So you know, you have to look at the positives. Ah, and just to the right of me here, see, so I also saw that. I also saw this um, aquarium on Google Maps. But it looks like it's all boarded up. Again, my imagination. I thought, ah, it's a nice. It's a nice aquarium down by the beach. And look, there's even a yoga school. I mean, that kind of looks like it might still be there. Gosh. I mean, I think the beach is coming. Actually, I have. I think I've seen one in China. <laughs> I think. Yes, that's the friction, so it's like spraying out water. Ironically, there's a, there's a sign out there called uh, Happy Street. Oh, yeah, he's got some things. Interesting, you know, because I almost. Uh, I'm trying to get a bit more. I don't know, something. Maybe. Yeah, a swimming bath and boat club there. Here's a nice, or it looks like a colonial lamppost. Yeah, Hindu swimming bath and boat club trust. Sounds good. I did see some boats out there. Wow, this is all kind of falling apart. But yeah, before, <laughs> sorry, I was saying, before leaving, I, um, well, I almost left without having any food. One thing I've learned about India is if you're going to go somewhere and you're a little bit hungry, so I suggest you eat food before you go, at least something, because more than likely no, I'm okay. I'm okay. I have a friend here. It's okay. More than likely, you may be in a position like I've just been. So I could have just done that walk completely starving. At least I had enough sense not to do that. All the ice creams were on the other side. I was hoping it would be... Oh, there's a beach. I can see a beach, guys. Yes. Oh my god, finally made it. Okay, ready? Here's the beach, yay! Okay, that's it. Thanks for it. No. <laughs> um, yes, okay, this is more like it. Yay! Yay! Wow, he's got pink hair. Uh, got some corn. I was thinking. I'm gonna get an ice cream. Ooh, they have ice cream. They have floaters. Should we get a floater? Guy? Okay, this is a bit more. And you see here, you can sit on the ground. This reminds me of uh, like Java, actually. Very similar. Asher and I went to a place uh, in Jogja. They had like you could sit on the floor like this. Okay, yes, there's. There's um. I'm going to go for a floater. So I think floater is what we call in New Zealand ice cream soda. And they call it like a floater. So it's actually, whoa, look at all this craziness here. Wow. Hello. Hello. 
Okay, see it? Huh? Looks good. Which one's your favorite? Ice cream shake, Kaluga. Yeah. I think I'll go I'll go Floda, but which which one's the best? Which one? The best one, yeah? Wow. Huh? Yeah, come. Okay. Huh? Hello, hello. Uh, I was gonna have a floater, but which is which is the best one? What do you want? A floater? I'll have a floater. But which one which one's a good one? Do you want with rubbery? What's this? Rubbery? I don't know the what dry fruits you want? Uh, what's that? Like this one? Yeah, this one is butterscotch. Okay. This one is malai. Oh. Maybe fully loaded. fully loaded? That's everything. Yeah, let's go for everything then. <laughs> and uh, kidna taste one? Which one is it? $1.99. $1.99. Okay, that's okay. Wow. Wow. And then, the beach is just here. Oh, no, there's a man. Yeah, wow. It must be very busy. So they got loads of menus. <laughs> Coffee. All sorts. Check it out, there he is, making away his stuff. I don't think this is mine because there's loads of people there waiting. Wow, look at all this. It's like some nuts, pistachio, almond, sweeties. Oh, that is mine. Oh, wow. Okay, don't even. Didn't know it was mine already. I'll, uh, I'll pay the man. I'm not sure who I have to pay. Very good. Okay, don't even. Good. Cheers. Oh, wow, he's got a green one. Why is his green? See, there's this guy here, he's got a green one. All right, I'm just gonna put my sunglasses back on. And we'll go for a little walk along the beach, because that was kind of the point. But I'll just. Whoa. So. I don't even know, but it's fully loaded. Everything. The straw doesn't work. <laughs> but yeah, look, they got all these flavors here as well. That's all the flavoring. Oh, melting away. I gotta get on it, guys. So it's a bit like. Mm, Oh, shit, it's really mountain. I mean, it is probably something like 30 degrees. Now it's a beach. <laughs> now we have a floater. It's a beach. Sir, huh? it's a photo. Photo, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Hello. We're doing photos, guys. Okay, photo time. What's Santi? Uh, Jay Sri Ram? Jay Sri Ram. Ram Ram? Ram Ram. Thank you. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Have a good day. Okay. Yeah, it's got like little rice worms in it. This is more like what I thought one of those things would be like that I got, but it had no flavor to it at all. But yeah, well, look at it. Can you see? All the goody goodness. I have no idea. Wow, okay, there's a lot of people. And people are swimming. Yeah, I almost made a joke. I'm glad I didn't turn up down there in my bathing suit. I thought about it, I did think about it. I was like, hmm, I'm not sure it's a good idea. Look, they've even got like a surf life saving. In case these waves like, you know, get, out, get a bit out of hand. Oh, there's people coming down here. Oh, it is warm. It is warm. Wow, can you see that apartment there? It's got these like little, well, quite big, 
I imagine they're like little parks, little kind of gardens on each each thing. Cool, okay. So this is what we're doing now. Wow. Uh, <laughs> sure. Oh, there's a lot of rubbish. Disappointing, like even in the water. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't think I'd want to swim in there. But each their own. I've got my floater fully loaded, so I'm happy. But yeah, at night it's really nice. Like you can see, like I said, because I've come down, I was up there and I've walked all the way down to here before and um, yeah just all the lights very nice to see he's selling pani the so pani in hindi is water hmm so yeah 200 for this hmm. And it's got so much in it. Wow, I don't even know what that is. It's like kind of a thick... There's not ice cream. I think there is ice cream in there somewhere. There's also jam and jelly. But yeah, it's like a very thick... Hmm... I don't know what you call it, like caramel I guess. Right, that's enough talking about it. I want to sit down and eat it. So we're just coming over here. All right, here we are. What is that? It's a bit like banana. Wow. No idea. Hmm. It's kofi. Right, that makes sense. Whoa. There's like some crunchy bits in it as well. Kind of like in New Zealand, we call it like hokey pokey. Or it's like biscuit or something. I have to say, the, um, the smell of the place isn't the most appetizing, but you know, here's where it is. Wow. Can you hear that crunchy bit? Very good. And it's got all these, oh, you can see all the. Mmm. Awesome. Right. I'm going to show you something. See, just over there. Is like this big, I think that, what is that? I guess it's like a, a hotel or something. I mean, it is actually quite nice, isn't it? A lot of people there. Cool. Looks like these guys here are fishing. I'm not sure. Oh, there's the, um, you see the, see the lifeguard just, where is he? Over there somewhere. Hiding in his little hut. <coughs> it's a bit too windy to lie on the sand because you just get covered in get sand in your eyes all the time. Yeah, you know, I could almost have a second one of these. good um, <coughs> Indians are at doing selfies. One thing I did not know, well one of many things I did not know, but yeah they're very good um, at posing, you know, getting the right angle. And I'm terrible at it, I'm terrible. Should take some lessons. Any um, 
Indians out there want to give me some photo posing lessons, maybe comment down below. We can hang out. Maybe I'll also then just catch a taxi back around to the like other end of the beach for the sunset. <laughs> All right, gonna go find a rubbish bin. Here's the beach. Lifeguards. This is kind of nice here actually. I can still hear the tooting. <laughs> the idea is definitely to get away from the tooting. Amazing. But yeah, really nice skyline there. Like I said, this thing here. This is cool. Bit of green there even. Wow, there must be a big park view, I think. Very cool. Don't know what these things are. What's this? <clears throat> I've seen them around different places. I don't think it's a rubbish bin. I think it's, maybe it's like a, it's like a funeral pyre, maybe? Is it? Hmm. Maybe, possibly. I'm not sure. And if that's offensive to anyone, I apologize. I don't know what it is. Because the last ones I've seen were actually at the Banga. Bang, bang, uh, banganga uh, up on that hill and people were just throwing loads of rubbish in it so I assumed it was kind of like a rubbish bin no that's where that's not where I put my rubbish I put my rubbish in the green bin down there you see all right don't worry what do you think what should we do now then we we'll just go walk around these people here see what they're up to here you can see the bit of a skyline there and like I guess mid uh Hi. Hello. Uh, hang on. From which country? Oh it's again. From New Zealand. And you? New Zealand. Ah New Zealand, yeah. yeah. And you where are you from? I'm from yeah, India, Mumbai. From Mumbai? Yes. yes. Ah okay. Good. Whereabouts? What? From here? From the beach? No. no. Mm. From Baikala. Baikala. My color, my color. My color, okay. Mumbai, my color. Okay, good. Yeah, that's Belmont's good. Famous area. Famous, yeah. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay. Oh, look, see this guy here, look. Maybe he can teach me. Look, see, he's, he's telling them what to do. I need one of them. That's what I need. Oh. Name of your channel. Huh? Name, Name of your channel? Uh, Culture Drift. Culture Drift. Apka naam ka hai? Uh, Mara naam Devansh. Devansh. Uh, nice to meet you. My name is Blair. Okay. Yeah. Are you from Mumbai? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Where? New Zealand. New Zealand. Ah. Okay. See you. Alright. Oh look, this guy's got nuts. Do you want some nuts? I don't think so. Wow, no. He's got his measuring device there. Wow. Ah, oh, that's the <laughs> burning stuff. Um, okay. There's all these boats here. This is obviously the yacht club. And you can see here they're making this big metal uh, seawall here. Oh. oh, you're not allowed to go down that way. No, nope. not allowed on the beach, not on that bit. Ah, oh, looks like they must have the lights on, uh, like at night maybe? You can see just here, uh, there's all these lights up, here, here. Hmm. And yeah, I'll just walk you through like these shops here. Um, and I might catch a an Uber down to the other end. See if there is anything actually there. <coughs> I've just got a bit of ice cream on my hands or something. Some coffee, coffee hands. Yeah, you can see here. Oh, you can get like savouries as well. 
Wow. He looks like he's had a lot, a lot of floaters, that dog. What do you think? Prices aren't too bad either. The most expensive thing is probably the floater. <laughs> like the savouries seem to be, you know, quite a good price. Yeah, and you can see here, you can sit. Sit there on the floor. Chill out in the shade. Or in the sun, if that's what you prefer. I don't seem very interested in my camera. Hi. Yo. Keseo. Oh, good, yeah. <laughs> so what I'm now dreaming of <laughs> is, you see there's a, over this side, there's a pocket cafe, see that? If I want that, go down the other end. What do you reckon? What are my chances? Oh, I need to get out of the sun. <sighs> yeah, I'll get out of the sun. I order the Uber. We'll head down the other end. See what we can find down there. That was, I think this is Mumbai Beach. And there was the marina, which is more just concrete. But uh, yeah, we'll go down the other end. There is the sunset area as well. And it's like you see it from the other, so obviously the, the bay here. The bay here is like a crescent. So it'll be the other end of the crescent. And then I guess you see the, the sun setting behind the uh, skyline there. Yeah, you understand? Great. Okay, gonna go s hide in the shade, order this Uber, yeah? Let's do it. You don't want another floater while we're here? Fal Faloda? 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 I think I've got coffee here as well. Bit of a situation with my Uber driver. He doesn't want to come on this. But it's right here. Oh my god. The Uber driver keeps calling me saying go on the other side of the road, the other side of the road. And you cannot cross the road. But there is, I think, over this side, like a, a tunnel? Hmm. <laughs> I think. I think there's a tunnel. The like people there are just crossing the road. I mean, this guy, I, I'm actually gonna... Almost had enough of this beach expedition. Uh, <laughs> this guy's, yeah, shoot in. Good. That's for the for those people. And that's there. Look out this way and that way. Oh, people. Great. A nice leisurely stroll along the beach. It's actually my last, last day in uh, Mumbai. And I just wanted to chill. Actually, what I'd had planned on doing today. <laughs> was um, going to the elephant caves. It was like the first thing on top of my list. First thing top of my list. I've just been, keep getting sick here and not really feeling like getting on a boat because you have to go on a boat. And I was like all prepared, about to get in an Uber. Yeah, I was about to get in an Uber and then looked it up and then, oh, my Uber driver. Hello. Hello, okay, I'm on the other side of the road now. Okay, okay, one, yeah, I'll be there soon, yeah? Oh, there's the Uber driver. He didn't want to come across the road. So I've come across the road, but he keeps calling me. All right, and he's just, he's just gone past me. Oh, look, they can get through there. I didn't think I could fit through there. Also, there was like loads of policemen on the other side of the road. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Uber, Uber driver saw me three times every time. It was right when I'm about to look at see where he is. And he's just driven past me because I was on the phone to him. And now he's on the other side of the road. Right, guys. Well, I think I've had enough. That's like... Uh, yeah, I, I, again, I only have li I have limits. I have limits, and this is the place to test it. Okay, guys. So I've changed my mind. I've had enough. Hello. Um, See, so yeah, I'm not going to do that. 
uh, down the other end of this whatever you call beach thing. It's too hot. This Uber driver is driving me mad. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Wasn't exactly the uh, lovely stroll along the beach, but there was, you know, that did exist. That did exist. Wow. According to this, my Uber driver is now driving on the beach somewhere. Okay guys, so I've changed, changed my mind, okay? So I'm not going to go down the other end of the beach. I give up. I'm going to... I've cancelled my Uber. I'm going to go back to my guest house. So that's it. That's enough. That's enough of a day at the beach for me. It was lovely in part. The ice cream was great. Um, there were positives. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting out of the city. Just the city in general, I think. Going to Varanasi tomorrow, guys. So yeah, make sure you subscribe. We'll see you in Varanasi. Uh, catching a plane tomorrow. You're coming with me. So do make sure you subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, keep on beeping. I mean, keep on drifting. <laughs>